All right, if we're to find the base and height of this parallelogram, we're going to need the formula for the area of the parallelogram. All right. So the formula for the area of a parallelogram is area equals base times height. For base, we have x plus 4. For height, we have x minus 4. And the area is given to be 20. All right. So for area, we plug in 20. For base, we plug in x plus 4. And notice um, the base and the height are to be multiplied, so I'm going to need to put these in parentheses. And it's probably hard to see, but the height is given as x minus 4. So again, in order to solve this problem, in order to find the base and the height, they want me to get rid of these x's and, and find out the value for that. Okay. You use the formula, area is equal to base times height. The area is given to be 20, so I put a 20 right there. The base is given to be x plus 4, and the height is given to be x minus 4. All right, um, I really can't solve it in this way. I'm trying to solve for x. So if I can have a factored form of the equation equal to 0, then I'll be able to solve for x using the zero factor property. All right, so I'm going to have to use FOIL or just make sure each term multiplies each term. Um, I'll try to be a little more colorful here. x times x would give us x squared. x times negative 4, negative 4x. Hitting the inside too. 4 times x would be plus 4x. 4 times negative 4 would be negative 16. I can combine like terms. Notice what happens with these two middle terms. They cancel out. Negative 4x, positive 4x. So they're basically gone. All right. So bringing down what remains, my 20, waiting patiently to be used over there, x squared, and let's bring down negative 16. Okay, um, again, I want something times something equals zero. So I don't want that 20 there. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to subtract 20, subtract 20. When I do that, I get zero. That was my goal, get a zero. Here I've just got x squared. Signs are the same. I add negative 36. I'm going to slide this up some. Okay, if I can turn these this binomial into something times something equals zero, I can use the zero factor property. Well, proceeding down our routine here, remember? GCF, no, two terms, yes. Difference of squares, hey, we're in luck. All right. We have a difference of perfect squares, so I can give myself two sets of parentheses. The square root of x squared is x and x. The square root of 36 is 6 and 6. Uh, remember, you always have to alternate these signs, because that's what makes the middle term disappear. This is equal to zero. And again, as long as you have something times something equals zero, then you know that this could be zero, or this could be zero, or perhaps both of them can. So based on that, you're allowed to simply break this up and say this first one, x plus 6 equals zero, or the second one, x minus 6 equals 0. Um, I could have kept 0 on the left side, but I'm more accustomed to seeing it this way. Um, all right, solving for x, subtract 6 
from each side. Yields x equals negative 6. Um, with this equation, you would add 6 to each side. So x equals positive 6. All right, when you're dealing with distance, the idea of a negative value is rather strange. We don't have negative distance. Um, remember the, the base. Let me see if I can get all this on here. I really can't. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. We had a base of x plus 4. If I try plugging in this value of negative 6 right here, I'm going to get a negative length. So that can't, it's impossible. So the algebra is correct. We got here correctly, but you have to evaluate whether or not the algebra steered you into a solution that's not valid. All right. Um, we'll use a positive 6. So I take this positive 6 and plug it in right where the x is. Let's see if we can emphasize that. There's a 6. I plug it in right where the x is. 6. Plus 4. That gives us a base of 10. All right. That's our base. And then the height uh, was given to be x minus 4. Again, this negative value won't work here. So you simply toss that out. You got to it correctly, but it's not, it doesn't yield a true answer. Um, again, I can plug in a positive 6 right where the x is. If I have 6 minus 4, that yields 2. So my base is 10, and my height is 2.